Monaco in the south of France. The tiny principality has been governed by the Grimaldi family for over 500 years. In 1955, the ruler is Prince Rainier III, a 31-year-old bachelor with revenues from the world-famous casino and a tax regime that attracts the rich and famous. But Prince Rainier has a problem. To continue the Grimaldi line, he must marry and produce an heir. But he can't find a suitable bride. Rainier is in the private quarters of his palace, waiting to see his spiritual advisor, an American Catholic priest, Father Francis Tucker. Tucker knows of the prince's plight, and he has a plan. Since there are so few princesses around for Rainier to choose from, why not find someone who can play the part of a princess? An actress. Even better, a movie star. As luck would have it, a perfectly qualified candidate, unmarried and Catholic, is attending the Cannes Film Festival just along the coast. Her name is Grace Kelly. By even greater good fortune, a magazine has requested a photo shoot with Grace and Rainier at the palace. It seems like a heaven-sent opportunity. Grace is reluctant to go. She'd rather get her hair done. But after some persuasion, she agrees. The decision will completely change her life. Monaco is an extremely small place. It will fit into Central Park quite easily. So they go into his little sort of private garden. He's got a zoo there, and he pets a tiger cub. You know, clearly very impressive. Great way to win girls. They have some alone time, and from that point on, it's all to play for. Even though she had not been struck by him on first meeting in real life, um, a correspondence struck up between them. So it's a sort of old-fashioned courtship. By December, the relationship is advanced enough for Rainier to travel to America. He spends Christmas with the Kelly family in Philadelphia. Two days later, he proposes to Grace. Millions watch the wedding on television and cinema newsreels but very few notable heads of state are in attendance. Monaco is still regarded as something of a cultural backwater. After her honeymoon, Grace sets out to change that. There would have been a creative and an intellectual side to her that needed sort of feeding and needed expression. And so she, she did that by making Monaco more of a place to live rather than just a tax haven for millionaires to play. With the birth of their three children, Grace and Rainier secure Monaco's future. Grace also makes it chic and glamorous, attracting famous friends such as Frank Sinatra, Gene Kelly, and Cary Grant. From queen of the screen to real life princess, Grace's is a fairy tale story, but one that ends all too soon.